Hi, everyone. I'm Elaine Quijano. It's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. As the country either heads out or stays home for Thanksgiving, President Trump has one more pardon beyond Tuesday's turkey. But first, the U.S. saw more than 2,000 coronavirus deaths Tuesday for the first time since May. Hospitalizations are still at an all-time high nationwide. Despite pleas from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to stay home, millions of people still plan to travel for the holiday week. President-elect Joe Biden used his Thanksgiving address this afternoon to reiterate government health guidance, which he's applying to his own plans. This year, we're asking Americans to forego so many of the traditions that we've long made this holiday, which made it so special. For our families, for 40 such years, 40 some years, we've had a tradition of traveling over Thanksgiving. A tradition that we've kept every year save one, the year our son Bo died. But this year, we'll be staying home. President Trump is also planning to stay put for Thanksgiving after Tuesday's annual turkey pardoning tradition. Mr. Trump announced Wednesday he's also pardoning his former national security advisor. Michael Flynn pleaded guilty twice to lying to the FBI about his conversations with a Russian diplomat during the last presidential transition. In May, Attorney General William Barr sought to drop charges against Flynn, but that move is still being challenged in federal court. The president was set to travel to Gettysburg for a hearing on the election held by Republicans in the Pennsylvania State Senate. That trip was called off, but he did phone in to repeat baseless claims of voter fraud that have failed in court due to lack of evidence. We have to turn the election over because there's no doubt we have all the evidence, we have all the affidavits, we have everything. All we need is to have some judge listen to it properly without having a political opinion or having another kind of a problem. Catherine Herridge, Caitlin Huey Burns, and Dan Balls join me now. Catherine is CBS News senior investigative correspondent. Caitlin is CBSN's political reporter. And Dan is the Washington Post's chief correspondent covering national politics. Welcome to you all. Catherine,